Meow and welcome to Pemphy Place Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I nearly greeted you in German. Well, let us see. We have stuff to take here. Lots of stuff, lots of things. Do we, do we put stuff into his corpse? No, we do not stuff things into his corpse. And I guess once we took all of this, we will just have to... Yes, we can already. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's all too heavy. That's the Dwemer Ruin thing. Well, honestly, I don't need to mark. Because... If, if you're honest, we, we can just walk these few meters again. Okay, and this also goes to Ravir because he's the one who s gives us the most money. So we're still on our quest to give the Skull of Gratitude to, to Dangot. And I slowly get the creeping feeling that Dangot is not here. It's been said that we should be, that he should, he, well, they should be in the ruins. Um, but I f don't feel like they actually are. Okay, so this is, um, yeah, it's not much that we have. Let's head to the pawnbroker and sell the, the cheaper things there to get the disposition up. We actually wanted to sell the expensive pens there anyway and forgot to what do so, about? right? Well, this is about a pair of expensive pens and about um, some scrap metal. And that's actually it. Bye bye. Okay, so now we can, uh, we can recall again. I guess I missed, still missed something. Where's this? Ah, that's the amulet. The amulet of, um, should be a ring. The amulet of, um, of um, Siv Intervention. Well, anyway, you can recall. And then go back to the beginning and pick up stuff. So that was 50, 90, 95, and I guess, yes. There we have it again. We need to remember that we need to put on the other amulet when we come back, when we used Amsif Intervention. Or remember to imbue a ring with that. That said, for imbuing a ring with Amsif Intervention, we just need Soul Gem filled with something. Strong enough? I don't know what is strong enough, so we need to be of finding it out, basically. Um, yeah, okay, I think I can give this to the pawnbroker. My desk is vibrating, but it's not my phone. That's weird. So we want to increase how much you like us. So you're going to get this cylinder. And you're going to get this coherer, coherer, I don't know how this is pronounced. You can feel free to send me a link to a video or to some resource that tells me how this is pronounced in the comments. Ah, now I know what's vibrating. It is the network attached storage with actual old spinning disks inside. Yes, this gear goes here and then we take the ah since okay okay we're going to recall the other amulet does not appear in that list because it is not it is a constant effect so it's not something that I can select okay let's see this is a lot of 80 door Luckily, I do have a lock level I unlock 80%. And I know I'm very, very uncreative with the names here. Rest here, but I should be able to rest there. Unless the enemy has respawned, but no, did not. And it would be really, really shitty if that respawned.
And we have unlocked one of the doors. Of course, I'm going to unlock the other one too. The Hall of Knowledge. So maybe it's... No, we can't interact with these elites here. As an engineer, I do have the urge to actually repair the things here. Even though sleeping did drop a safe automatically. Okay, that's interesting. This is, I think, where they kind of live, isn't it? So we have a goblet, we have a bottle, we have a nice book. This book appears to be written in an unknown grammar language from the schematics that these two means it appears to be a manual on machine maintenance. That's interesting because I do want to do maintenance on the machines. Sadly, I can't read it. We have bread and crab meat and um, nothing. And a necromancer's journal. And I think I'm going to read this right now. Rumors have come to my ears of a lost one ruin. The Fuminol seems to be called deep under the city of Omora. What a better place to further advance my studies of the art of necromancy. A hidden lair just below the second most populated, populated town of Vardenfell. Surprisingly enough, those rumors were true after all. I'm no expert on Dwemer culture, but for what I can see, this place would be the joy of any Dwemer histori historian. Historian? A history peep person. Every sort of machine, still in functional state and guarded by what I think they call animunculi or something like that. I didn't expect to find so many of them working and able to take care of quite easily of my fellow necromancers. I need to rethink my plan. I need to set camp somewhere decent in this underground labyrinth of caves. And I need to send back my best men to the surface to find some help. Good news. Meaden and Sabrin have to gain the tr have seen to have gained the trust of a local group of smugglers. But Velez Falava and his gang will provide all the necessary bodies for conquering this room from my necromancy experiments. So this uh, turret was basically a raised corpse, it seems. Time to go back to the Fumino. Ancestors. I love when a plan comes together. It took some time, effort and lots of bodies, but now it's mine. The Fumino is my base. Ovilius gang continued delivering bodies from experiments, but I haven't really paid attention to that. Lately I've been exploring the whole complex of ruins a lot. Surely this must have been one of the greatest achievements of the Dwemeri. I can't stop thinking about all the secrets this place still keep hiding from me. Even if I resume my necromancy experiments successfully, things haven't really gone too well around here. A few of my men have reported strange noises coming from the walls of the ruins, like if something was scratching against the metallic surfaces. I dismissed those reports as stress due to recent attacks from a bunch of people that call themselves the Cult of Arazen until I've heard them too. So Arazen, this is, this is uh, the glass stuff, it's called Arazen glass stuff. Ah, damn Arazenian cultists. They are causing much troubles than I previously thought. Oh well, next time they'll have a nice surprise awaiting them. I've sent someone sabotaging the lever that controls the elevator so they can't go up anymore and put a very special creation of mine to guard the door. Actually, I can take this. Then we have a servant's skull and we have another. So this is a manual on cog replacement and maintenance. And then we have another manual on cog replacement and maintenance. We have the Spirit of Nern, the Waters of Oblivion, Incident in Necrom, and this increased our illusion skill. We have a Scroll of Hellfire, the Real Barencia Part 1, Scroll of the Second Barrier, some old Dwemer drinking vessels, stuff, and I guess the sound that we hear that is supposedly the sound that was mentioned in the journal. Uh, that's about ten. Okay. Let's 
steel dagger. This has a lot level 50. This I could actually try disarming by hand. No, oh, I can't. Then I'm going to use my Onduzi's open door, the weakest that the weakest that is possible, and there's nothing in there. And the dresser just contains paper and a coin. There's another chest. And this contains... Well, we're, we're nearly... Yeah, we, sh we should head back and, 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 and sell stuff. I'm going to mark here. Ah, it's so nice and quiet here. So let's head to whom first? Well, we can go to the... We don't have many things. Or maybe we have one or two. Restore health and fatigue. Oh yes, restore fatigue. We can do this. Yep, exactly. Probably nothing. I'm going to sell the potions to our new alchemist friend. So we don't use up too much so what do you want? from Revere's money reserves. So we want to sell for intelligence. That was good, 40 points for, for 5 seconds. We're not going just by weight, I think. 0.1, 0 0.3. Lots of restore health, restore magicka. These are pretty heavy. Well, anyway, I'm going to use them first. Exactly for that reason. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. Welcome. If you wish to talk, it is really no trouble at all. Oh, I'm I'm just passing through, but we can talk once some other time. Yeah, I, I was just thinking. This is the uh, the seat of House of Palu, and they don't like us. But maybe if you talk to if you. See, this selling trick also works with the house members. Do we have things for him? I didn't check that this. Okay, I need to, to, to still continue selling things one by one. I think that's it. We're keeping more and more stuff. He's very annoyed. Okay, so he is, well, basically, basically he's also kind of a pawnbroker, isn't he? Or, uh, not pawnbroker, but a, 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 I buy everything guy. So I'm just going to sell things here. Because I can. Just checking. I don't know. I think we need a servant's skull. This looks like we now have sold everything. We still have lots of weight on us because of the books. Let's set aside. And well, I guess ah. off we go. Come on, then. Say something or move on. Blah 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 blah. Who is that us? I think it was that scaled person. Well, I don't want you to use a potion, so we're going to sleep in the Guild of Mages. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. 
That sounded more like a kitty hiss, actually. Two can play this game. Okay, so now we can recall. How are you? Just recalling. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so there is this sound from the walls. I'm curious what this means, this sound from the walls. <laughs> he put the quill into the eye of the skull. That was kind of fun. So this weighs 50. So we need to head back again. This is the default, the default for caves belonging, especially uh, or Dwemer ruins belonging. Because you walk back and forth, because the things, those cog wheels are very heavy, but they, are, they give you 55 gold coins each. Which is pretty awesome. So I'm just going to, since there's so much here, I'm just going to sell with with that pawnbroker here first. So we have this goblet. You know, all, all the things that don't give much money. But increase this number up there a drum. I guess we will buy lots of things again from all the traders once we have our own home. Because of course we want to have things in our home. We want to make our home look nice. And thus we need to fetch. We need to go shopping once we have our place to live. Okay, so this, this basket also. So I do know that the scrap metal actually is an ingredient. Um, so I should have sold it to the alchemist. So I can easily get it back, but um, yeah, we will, we will buy the stuff back at some point in, I guess. Not everything, obviously, but this looks like it is it. I mean, apart from the very heavy things, mainly the cogwheel. Ah. There is one book that we have twice have now, definitely. So I'm going to sell it to the bookstore, unless it is super expensive. Well, it's old Bummer book. For 100, it's okay. And I think even the cogwheel would have been okay to sell to her. The bookshop was around the corner, literally here. So I'm going to sell this up here. And then I'm going to head back to the pawnbroker. Yeah, I think for 100, it's okay. I think everything below 200, we should not bother running to a specific vendor. Okay, so because um, it's still it's still enough, we do have 7,000, and there's lots of money, lots of more to gain. So. Okay, we can go back and fill our pockets again. Because we're the pocket fillers. And there's still stuff here. This should not be that heavy though. But still, it's lots of things that you can sell, especially to a pawnbroker. Let's, let's pick the table clean. I guess the reason why why uh, the Dwemer things are 
a bit more expensive. This one is just probably um, is because it is dangerous to go into the ruins. Yeah, this is now this is now normal filling of crates and stuff, but this makes sense because this is their base. So here it makes sense to be over encumbered. Um, I think it's those pesky torches again, which have a weight of three each. There are those. That was not the right one. I wanted to go with the amulet. But still. Now we have lots of things that we can sell to the pawnbroker, which is good. What? Something with my lips. That's why I'm not talking. Mm. Well, I think they're just dried out. This is one reason why you should drink enough. So these are super cheap items. So we can just use them. Also because they, they, they give one or two gold. That doesn't make any much sense to be, to be wasting time heading to another person just for that. And even those bowls. I mean, basically I pick them up. So we can, uh, so we can make them like us. We can make lots of deals with them. And yeah, I know this is power. I'm, I'm starting to power game here. <laughs> but at some point, at some point, you want to do this. You just want to have the best offers. Okay, the knives are gone too. Let's see. Um, when we're when we're done with this dungeon, I am going to uh, going to stop this recording session, and I'm going to put the the whole the whole books into Caius Casadas' home. The reason is very simple because I need to add the titles to our to-do list for story time so I know which ones I have already done and which ones I haven't. And it might even be that there are some which I actually forgot to add at some point in time. And soon we are through. 99, 100. Now we can just quickly sell everything that we find. The torches. There we go. Flatter me with your attention, Outlander. See how she loves us. Just from making lots of well, lots of deals. Lots of single item deals. And that's it. Now we're going to head over well I, actually we can also just sell to her. It doesn't doesn't make any difference anymore. Because she has 500, she has multiple hundred gold. We have that other guy who has gold, so now we can just go to the three um, people who buy everything, unless we have something super expensive in our inventory. Um, so we want to keep have keep them have them keep their stuff, uh, restore health. No, that was too cheap. Frost resistance. Look, this is heavy. It's valued the same, but it's it's getting lighter. This is very light. The 
It's also very light. I think Curious to Help I'm going to keep. So Magicka is also something I'm going to keep. So now I can just go through multiple people. Okay, let's recall again. And then have a nap here in the quiet of the can't rest your enemies in nearby. It's unfortunate, but I can rest there without enemies nearby. You can just rest in here, we don't need to head into the... There we go, head into the ruins. Okay, so this also automatically dropped the save. So I can just select our fire bite. And then we can check there was there was torches somewhere in here. Um, five. <laughs> so there's something in the walls. That's the lore that we got so far. And it gets louder the deeper we get. I guess that in order to make that noise, um, gun and she has some kind of shield which does not prevent her from thank you for training my armor skill well those were also not that hard so that was cancel who has also very heavy things so that's uh, weight 13 weight 24 Wait, 16 and 27 I can't wear anymore. So I'm just going to have to sell. Also, I forgot to take put on my, my magic amulet. That's, as I said, that's why I want uh, the, these Mark and Recall things to be rings. So if I swap them out, I don't destroy a permanent effect. So now I know that the um, pawnbroker does not have much money anymore. But he should still have. Yep. Oh, that's just bone mold. I actually thought that it was Dwemer. Okay, and the sword I did not take. Okay. I'm just wondering where all the weight is going. But let's see, Ravir, who's the trader with the least amount of gold. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep this, we're going to keep this, we have all this. This is this is not weighing a lot. I think it's actually, it's, it really is the books. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop them and I'm going to change it to Whenever I want to record, I either add it to the story time list. So either it's in the story time list already, this means I already did it, or I add it when I do it. Say what you want. So it, it's no longer a to-do list, it's a, just a done list, basically. And I mean, that's, that's um, I think that's easiest. Because the to-do list is basically a pile of books. So here is what I did. So I just what went here, then I have this little slit here, and I just put the books there on top of each other. Some of them are light, some of them are pretty heavy. You can just put them on top of each other. That one is big. 
Is there another book? Now we are at 144. Of course, we have a lot, of, lots of weapons. So I'm also going to make a stash of stash of weapons here, um, which I don't need. So these two are actually awesome. I'm, I think I'm going to use this, but this is. What was this? Absorb health? No, spell absorption. So these are just going to keep here because I they look neat. I want to kind of display them in my in my house. I hope I don't need them. Oh no, we're also f faster again. Uh, I need to sleep with a creepy guy. Go ahead. And there we go, we take everything. Ooh. Neat. Oh, that was someone from behind. I just come here. Spark. Spark. Let us actually try this. That's the button that I need to use. I don't hit. I don't hit. I'm too bad. Well then let's do this. And he disappears. Okay, I'm too bad at hitting. Okay, so I'm just going to keep the staff as a keepsake, I think. Oh, another one, and we have low health. So I'm just going to use a restore health potion. What he did, it was a restoration nonetheless, but now we're over yeah, we were over encumbered. So let's just put things back onto his corpse until our encumbrance levels are okay and then and then do the selling game again. Yes. Limited inventory. The bane of... No. The bane of role-playing games. Um, but I do have something, I do have an announcement which might interest you. There's lots of weapons, and since the weapon trader has lots of money, I'm just going to go to them first. I actually have an announcement to make for the next recording session. So again, this is the same recording session that I had. Sorry, I don't know. This one I want to keep. Amulets. Amulet of health. Not interested in it any at all. Well, that was not much money though. I assume that those were very expensive things. Sadly, they're not. Okay, let's see, Ravir. You still have 500 money. 500 money, well. Uh, this one I should have sold there. I think it's twice the same, isn't it? Yes, twice the amulet of health. And then this is basically it. Recall, and I know that we're over time, but I'm still going to do this now because I don't can, can, don't want to do things half and then and then go back. So we're now going to sell this armor set, 
And then I'm going to, when we're back, I'm going to end the episode and continue on to the next, to recording the next episode, that is. But not after I topped up my drink, because it is empty now. And as I always say, stay hydrated, folks. So we sell all of that, actually. Um, yes, total sold, offer. Yes, strange. And I'm going to drop off the Staff of Life and Death with Caius Casades. Because his house is kind of the, it's, it's kind of a storage now. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to check what's what else is there. But the next episode will be the last because I think 7 p.m. is a good time to stop the recording. Oh, welcome. What may I do for you? Uh, nothing. Just guard my stuff. Thank you. And then. I'm going to recall. And of course, I'm going to fail casting the spell, so I'm going to sleep with the creepy man again. Greetings. And there we are. Yep. So, as I said, we will see each other again in the next episode. Bye bye.